Well, turning now to weather, it was a rough one yesterday, but today is looking pretty good. Today is not looking too bad, at least this afternoon, because we are going to see some change, Jim, as another disturbance is just on the heels of our region, and that's going to bring us once again the chance for showers. Nothing severe, so that's good news. But we take a look at current temperatures right now, and it's, it is certainly a lot chillier compared to this time yesterday. We're only at 53 degrees right now in Philly, same deal for places like Chesswold, back towards Millville, and Wildwood, New Jersey, a little bit cooler due to that sea breeze at 51. And then we look over towards the Poconos, where temperatures are currently at 41 degrees. As we head towards later on this afternoon, anticipate highs to climb to 57 degrees. And, and exactly what you're seeing right now is what we will continue to see through around 5 p.m. until it completely becomes overcast across the region and then showers will be moving in later on this evening. Take a current look at storm scan three showing us just where that system is. It's a weak disturbance, but it is still going to bring us some showers across the region and showers becoming a little bit more widespread as the day wears on as the night wears on. I should say take a look at Wednesday 1230 showers will be over to the area. So if you're an essential worker and you're waking up early, you're going to have some showers on the road, but check this out. It's going to be cold enough behind this disturbance that we can even see a few flurries around. So a coating up to an inch possible places like Mount Pocono and that colder air will be rushing in. Can't rule out the fl a flurry or two to pass through Trenton. I'm even keeping a flurry across the city, but that's going to be really, really quick. So if you blink, you'll miss it. And then eventually that disturbance moves off the air off the coast. By Thursday night, we do it all over again as our next system pushes through the region. So for tonight, notice those temperatures. Northwest suburbs going to see temperatures in the 30s, and that's why we do have the possibility to see some snow across that region. Philadelphia, you'll, you'll see an overnight low of 40 degrees, 40 in Millville as well. Once again, with those showers arriving to our area. As we take a look here at storm scan three, once again, showing the clouds across the region. But nonetheless, we'll see those showers move into our area over the next several hours. And then that's when we do anticipate for our showers to move into our into the Delaware Valley, I should say. So just keep that in mind as you continue to make your Tuesday night plans, Jim, and just make sure you are safe as you head out the door tomorrow morning. I'll go ahead and send it back to you. Tuesday night plans. I'm going to sleep, Larissa. You know our schedule. <laughs>